Hi everybody, so uh, today as the title suggests, the 1080 Ti card has arrived as you'll see from my previous video. Uh, we're going to have a look at the card today, obviously I've got it on the bench there, it's unboxed. Going to do a sort of review, we're not going to do any sort of FPS test or anything on this one, we're just going to look at the actual card itself, how it compares to its predecessor, uh, so to help you guys have a bit of an idea whether it's worth upgrading. Okay, so... If we start with the actual card itself uh, in terms of physically, uh, there's not a lot to go on between this one and the, 1080, the GTX 1080, the predecessor. Uh, the design is very similar on the front, the standard, uh, the standard fan and the actual, even all the grooves and the panels and everything, they're all very much the same as, as the previous, previous model. The one main difference though, the interface on the back they have uh, dropped. You can see there they've got they've dropped the DVI port on the there. The, there's no DVI port anymore. They've literally replaced it with some ventilation. So maybe they needed to do that in order to help it cool down, or maybe they've just thought, sod it, we're going to drop the DVI port. I don't know. Um, they did, however, include a uh, DVI to Display Port adapter, which I don't need anyway. But it's nice that they're throwing that in there because there's going to be a few guys out there that weren't aware that it didn't come with a DVI port, as you kind of expect. I mean, all their previous cards did so, but it still has the HDMI and the free display port, so it does before. Um, the power pins, the other, the other noticeable change that I've noticed on the top, instead of the the 1080 had the 188 pin, this is going to uh, an eight and a six pin as well, so quite a slightly bit more power there. Um, let's have a look at some of the uh, technical technical differences. Okay, so some of the technical differences between the 1080 and the 1080 Ti, there is a big jump in some areas. Uh, for start, the card itself was, uh, everyone kind of assumed that the Ti version would be a 10 gigabyte card, whereas the 1080 was a, an 8 gigabyte card. Well, it really surprised me as well as everybody else, and now it's an 11 gigabyte. So you've got the 8 gigabyte previous to the 11 gigabyte now. So there's around about 40% difference, a 40% increase in memory size on the card itself. Uh, it, it kind of surpasses the 1080 in, in pretty much every single area as you'd expect. It's got a higher pixel rate, uh, 130.2 to 102.8. Um, there's more shading units, it's 3584 shading units to 2560, so it beats it there. More texture mapping units, 224 versus 160. Uh, more render output processors, 88 to 64 on the 1080. Um, the higher clock memory speed as well is a big factor, it's around about 10% higher, so it goes up from 1251 megahertz to 1376. Uh, overall higher clock speed is uh, 1607 megahertz versus the 1480 megahertz, so again about 10% better. Uh, even the boost is better as well, which you would expect, I mean even when the 1080 is, is boosting, it boosts to around about 1584 megahertz, it doesn't even surpass the standard clock speed on the 1080 Ti. So, it is just better in all, in all avenues, really. I mean, the card itself retails at £699 or $699, depending where you're buying it from, where you're located in the world. I don't know why, um, I don't know if it's just, I don't know what it, what, it, what, uh, what it boils down to in Euros as well, but it just seems that Europe or the UK will always get fucked over on the price of graphics cards. When we do the exchange rate, that the graphics card should have been around about 560 Pounds, but for whatever reason, they, they market them at the same price. I don't know if they're including shipping or or what what why it has to be the same price in uh, US dollars is in Great British uh, Great uh, pounds sterling. Um, so yeah, not overly sure why, but I mean, I haven't actually played on it yet. I've kept it in the box all weekend. I've been busy, so I've kind of got it out just for this video. Um, looks very similar, like I said, to the other card. But I'm expecting big things. I mean, the 1080 kind of did 4K just around in the graphics amplifier, whereas this it's going to be 30, 35% better. So I'm expecting to see that in the in the test that we're going to do in the next video. So so I, I, I've kept this video quite brief I didn't want to go into too much details so I'll put some links in the description if you want to go out and, and read a bit more about the technical specifications between the two cards but they are very similar in terms of, of the actual design itself there's not a big change the technical specifications I mean as we covered they're all slightly enhanced between the two models so 
It's not as if we've gone from you know Maxwell to Pascal. They're both running on Pascal still. It's just that the TI is a, is a souped up version of the 1080 as, as it has been across most of the other models that they've TI'd. So not a lot there to, to kind of go into in terms of differences uh, that I could see. Uh, stay tuned for the next video because we're going to do some gaming on it. We're going to see how it fares in 4K, how it does in 1080p. We're going to compare the two, compare the old card as well. We've got a lot coming up. Also, I wanted to do um, something like an off-topic Sunday. If there's a, a video I wanted to do for a while now, um, I'll put it in the description down below. But yeah, if you can comment on something you want to see, it doesn't have to be anything to do with tech related. As we did the uh, we did the couples challenge and that a while ago, I might start doing some more then. But I'd like to have your input down below if uh, if there's a few to choose from yeah we'll pick one and we'll, and we'll do it so it can be completely off topic wherever you want um, nothing too stupid though please I don't want anything that's going to be too too crazy but yeah drop it down below get some likes in it and then yeah we'll, uh, we'll pick one to do for next Sunday um, so yeah stay tuned guys um, next video is going to be for Honor the new game for Honor well it's relative new it's about a month old uh, we're going to do the standard 4K test, 1080p test compared to the onboard and on the 1080Ti. So stay tuned, it's all coming up.